Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Lucy Faye. As some of you may know, I have resumed school, I have resumed uni today, Monday, and I really just got back from the world. Today was like introduction really, we had the um, talks about the history, the introduction to nursing week, I mean it's nursing week this week, so yeah, then we got, um, got to be spoken about on security, the importance of security, your personal belongings, the hospital, the patients, and all of that. Then um, we basically were split up into groups and um, we met our preceptor, like a principal nursing chair of us, like for the nursing week. And yeah, she, mine was really nice, at least today. She's a very nice person, very relatable to like. She is quite down to earth. Then you know we got to merge a bit the traditional year students today, and the people in my group seem pretty cool, like pretty cool. Like we're able to bond over different things from Snapchat to games and all of that. So yeah, people in my group seem pretty cool. So I have like two other classmates from my graduate entry entry class, and then um, let me see two four. Five, six, six people from the traditional year. But yeah, it's, it's, it was really nice. I promise you, I, I'm really looking forward to it. So this week is all about nursing week, and uh, see if I can bring you with me to the words one of these days. And then who knows, I might even meet my percept, my preceptor as well. But yeah, I'm just back, and I literally just got back from Nigeria yesterday. So I had to arrange my room. Like, had to arrange my room, and. Yeah, we also like told the dress code, code of conduct and all of that. Like we're not allowed to wear denim, like no jeans, no denim like material, no tights. Like it had to be like office pant trousers. I'm just gonna be wearing skirts because I don't have pant trousers. For some weird reasons, I don't think I have that pant trousers. Because when I have this, they wanted it up to the ankle and mine is like three quarter. So doesn't work. I mean, it's all for our protection, really. So yeah, but I guess he decided to make a very good first impression for me. This, like, can you imagine acne? Like, it just grew like literally overnight. Like, I woke up and I was like, really, it was there yesterday actually? <laughs> but I feel like it got bigger today. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into arranging my room now, and then try to fix my like box. I didn't get to do that yesterday because I was literally so tired. Then I'll do a few errands. Then maybe make myself a meal. I guess I'm not hungry. But yeah, welcome to clinical. Yes, baby, chest degree that things. This was day four of a um, nursing week, and um, it was fun. So I didn't record any vlog on Tuesday and Wednesday because. I was tired after we came back from the wards. Like my ankles were hurting. I even had like over eight thousand steps yesterday. I was so tired. We let leave like around three o'clock. So first day was really basically introduction, dress codes, and everything like I said. On Tuesday, we um looked at um we looked at um. Um, admission and discharging of patients, how to do last of office last um, for patients who pass on, then how to, um, we talked on um, bed baths. We also looked at um, the um, papers and the nurses' notes, like the nurses' notes, the drag charts, the four hour charts, the temperature, the fluid chat and all of that. We looked through all of those, but it was explained to us and and all. Then on Wednesday we well no, on Tuesday we also learned how to lay beds. The different then we learned uh, the different types of beds, the admission bed, operation bed, the um, single occupied, single unoccupied, the, um, we learned all of that. Then we went ahead to start checking the vitals. So on Wednesday we kicked it up from there. We we checked the vitals, the blood pressure, pulse, and rest. We then have to count on respiratory rate as well, the, um, and then the pulse as well. 
then we practice on each other for a long time like to make sure we're like really good or close to better than we were the last time at it then after that we went ahead to practice the bed bath so the bed bath was the first thing we did in the morning and i was among the people who gave the patient a bed bath i um assisted so there's like two people that did a bed bath so one person now um, you know is with the trolley the other person assists and literally scrubs the other half of the body so yeah i did i gave a patient a bed bath yeah it was actually an experience that made me um value nurses they do a lot in the care of patients to be fair and then the bed lane oh my god it's like as days of hotel management because like was the the matron and my preceptor was so particular about the way we went about it then i got to lay the patient's bed like a single or by one as well after that we then also practiced vulva um vulva toileting the vulva toileting after that we went ahead again to practice the vitals checking the bp temperature pulse as well and today i think i've covered everything yeah they wanted to try one dressing but unfortunately weren't able to so sad so today we we talked about okay then yesterday also we did um IV drug reconstitution we did IV drug administration they did administration of all that kind of drugs and how it was recorded and how it was read as well from the chat so today we went on to do um IM intramuscular so IV will be intravenous we did IM and subcutaneous um drug administration the types of needles the way to um, administer to the patient if you're giving on the Botox, like upper outer quadrant and the, or if you're giving on the tie as well then for subcutaneous we learn the different needle we are supposed to use for it then whether if you're going to pinch then you put at um 90 degrees but if you're going to yeah i think Pinching is 90 degrees, not pinching is 45 degrees because you only want the drug to be in the dermis, like in the skin. And these ones are really for dermatological cases, really. So, then we learned about um, um, temperature changes by crisis and by lysis, different types. Then went on ahead to talk about um, tepid sponging, yeah, tepid sponging technique. Then we went on to look at wound dressing, how you clean surgical and um, non-surgical surgical wounds as well. Uh, yeah. Then we went on for to look at catheters, different types. Then we looked at um, urethral catheter, catheters like um, insertion, caring for them, and all of that. Then we went on to set lines. So yeah, we did set lines. We looked at the different kinds of cannulas, the, the situations that were around using the different colors. We looked at the giving set, then we looked at the difference between um, the one for blood transfusion and the one for like just fluid, like saline or grass. So the different giving sets. Then we also looked, haha. <laughs> then, yeah, really. That's what we spoke about. Then we practice the checking of the vital signs again today. So my highlight of yesterday was I gave a patient a bed bath and I practiced bed making right. Today my highlight was I visualized the preceptor, the matron. Yep, I did. It was exciting. She was going to show us how you know you do venipuncture, and then I was like, oh, I like she wanted was going to call one of the nurses to like do any function on her to lepidomize her and I was like oh no I can do it and she's like are you sure? I was like yeah, yeah, yeah I can't like I used to work in the lab I used to I'm like I'm a biomedical scientist and um you know I did hematology so yeah I did a lot of febrotomy and all that I learned febrotomy she's like hmm now you're my student oh. and I'm like ma I can't do it she's like okay then I got the 20k and uh 10 cc because we were going to send one of the samples for um full blood count or complete blood count as other people call it then the other one was going to be for liver function so i collected about 10 cc and then you know 
food blocker has to have like at least minimum 2.5 to 3 minutes then the other one yeah so yeah it was fun everyone was like ooh you first to I was like well it's easy I mean you see it's easy I was so excited like I really love doing table swimming it gives me this false high like I was hungry before but then I just felt like I eat it in a sugar filled meal I was so excited so tomorrow we're going to like go to the ward and round up um with um pre and post um surgery care then um feeding surgery care and um preparation then we'll do, we'll do feeding and care of mouth tomorrow so yeah it was fun it's been fun and i would really give kudos to my preceptor like she's really good and she listens even if you ask her one question and um, she's ready to explain until you understand which is really remarkable she's really nice and um she's very thorough she's very thorough with her job she doesn't even play with it and she's so she's so on about the patient being comfortable like i was so impressed i was really really impressed and um and it's like actually which like train on that hair because she knows a lot of things like she makes doctrine so easy she's really nice and um yeah I wish my nurses can just learn from her and then you know like what just be more like her like it's so nice so tomorrow is friday we're rounding up and then we would meet and talk about experiences as a large class then later in the evening i have the international students won me awards and handed over and i and luckily or should i say luckily i am on the exec for next year so we did the elections and i got in so i'm on the exec for next year so they'll be handing over to our team so it'll be nice so we'll dress up and go for the Grammy awards so yeah um if i don't offer the um film a vlog tomorrow this would be me calling it the day and saying nothing week has been fun and very productive it's actually nice walking around and getting my daily exercise and burning on average a day i burn about 306 calories just walking up and down the hospital like between patients and also I'm, I'm i'm actually happy like i'm getting like my i'm on the move i'm not just sitting down and getting some belly rolls and all of that so i'm actually happy so do not forget to subscribe to my channel and um leave me comments if you have any questions and don't forget to share the video with your friends subscribe to my channel and i'd also like to say that the game application opens next week which will be monday i think the 6th of november so you should be on the lookout on the website Start preparing now, start preparing now, start preparing now. It's a very competitive exam, you don't want to miss out on, on the whole process. And it's really exciting, like studying medicine, and you know how exciting it's going to be to even practice medicine. So yeah, start preparation now. So yeah, that would be all. And I would, for any updates about the application process, I'll be posting it on my Facebook page and my Instagram page because I only upload videos on YouTube on Sundays once a week. But during the week, I'll update my Instagram and my Facebook page. So I'm going to leave a description to put my Instagram and Facebook page in the description box below. But these are my usernames floating on the screen right now. So do not forget, like, follow me on those channels so that you can see any updates. Once again, thanks for subscribing to my channel. I think I've hit 100 subscribers. It's been about six months of doing this, and um, I'm grateful. Thank you. Six or seven months. Seven months, I think. It'll be seven months. Um, since I'm grateful. Thank you.